Hi guys, got a request here from James Stead to make a car out of pound shop items. No equipment apart from a multi-tool and something sharp. No hot glue, no soldering iron. Rubber band powered car, limited tools and limited items, please, Grandad. Well, got a problem straight away. I don't have a multi-tool and I've been to Poundland and they haven't got one either. So I'm going to have to use some tools other than a multi-tool. Right, I'll show you what I've got from Poundland. I've got a mini roller set. That's going to be the chassis of the car. I've got some scrap cardboard that I've got from Poundland. I've bought a junior hacksaw from Poundland, so obviously that cost me a pound. As I say, I don't have a multi-tool. I need the hacksaw because they didn't have any barbecue skewers or flour canes, so I need something to make the axle with. So I've bought a mini golf set and I'll use the shaft from that for the axles, hence the hacksaw. For wheels I'll use these sticky tape rolls. To stick the cardboard to the wheels I've got this five pack of glue sticks and some elastic bands. This may or may not help to stick the shaft or the axle to the wheels but we'll find out. Worst case scenario I'll use two pack epoxy which I've also got from Poundland. It's not in this pack, I've already got it. Now, I'll just point out this is at least six pounds worth of items just to make a car. I could have bought a car in Poundland for a pound so this is just to do the project it's nothing to do with making a cheap toy and I wouldn't normally do it this way because I've got plenty of rubber bands already so I wouldn't go and buy them. I've got sticky tape already so I wouldn't have gone and bought that. I've got a hacksaw already so I wouldn't have gone and bought that. I've got glue sticks already so I wouldn't have bought that. I've got cardboard already so I didn't need to pick that up. I've got plenty of barbecue skewers and flour canes so I didn't need to buy an axle. And I probably wouldn't have used this for the chassis. I'd have used something else, probably cardboard. But the uh, project was to make everything from items purchased from Poundland. So that's what we're going to do. First thing to do is make the wheels. So sticky tape rolls. And I'll use this cardboard and a sharp knife. This time we're going to mark around the outside. And cut it. I'll just see if I can do that with scissors. Like I say, I know part of the challenge was to do it with a multi-tool, but I don't have one and I'm not going to buy one.
Right, the idea is to cut two of these for each wheel and glue them to the outside, which is what I've got the glue sticks for, because it's a cardboard centre, so I should be able to glue cardboard to cardboard with the glue sticks. So my cardboard discs ready, so I'll glue them all in place. something heavy on top to make sure it all sticks together. I'll go and put these to one side with something heavy on top of them, on top of them, so they can dry. Now the chassis of the car. And the plan is to drill some holes in here, so that we can put the axle through. So we need to cut this up first of all, so I know what length axles I've got. A bit of gentle persuasion, and the handle and the club have come off, so we've got a nice shaft there. Need to divide it in half, and then saw it in half. say that blade on there doesn't seem to do very much. Right, cut it in half. Remember I wouldn't be using this if they would got the barbecue skewers or the flower canes in stock anyway. So I'm not too worried about the fact that I've had to saw that. Right, to make the holes for the axles Goodness, I am using these metal um, axles. I'm going to heat them up and just melt holes straight through. Got the doors open because obviously this is going to smell and give off fumes. Right, that's quite a tight fit on there, so I'm going to have to work on those holes a bit to open them out. I'll just reheat that and work it around a bit to make it bigger. That's better. Now we need to make some holes in the middle of these for the axle to go through. So I'll use the same method that I usually use. Oh, I'm using a pencil. I'm not sure if that was on the list of things I can use. I'm using it. So I've drawn a circle around the outside of the sticky tape roll. I'll neatly cut it out. So that circle is the same size as the sticky tape roll. Fold it carefully in half and fold that again. And 
and where the folds cross is the centre. And then I'll have to enlarge these holes so that we can get the axles through. And those axles look like they're about the same size as this pencil. So if I start the holes off with the pencil There's our axle and wheels. We've got a bit of free play there. We'll do the same with the back axle. I don't expect that this glue will make much difference, but being as I've got it, I'll smear it round the axle where the wheel's going to go. So that might that might help to stop it slipping. That's our car. A few rubber bands. through the hole that's already there. have a working rubber band powered car. All wound up, ready to go. I'll chase it, so I'll pick up the camera and run after it. Oh. Here we go then. And that's the full five metres of my kitchen. So, summary time, what have we got? We've got a rubber band powered car made entirely from items purchased from Poundland. The wheels are sticky tape rolls with cardboard either side of them so that we can put the axles through. The cardboard also came from Poundland but that was free. That was a bit of packaging. The chassis is a paint roller tray from Poundland. The axles were from a golf kit, a kiddies golf kit. Um, that's the shaft of the golf stick, I was going to say. Um, 
And that's it, isn't it? Oh, rubber bands, they obviously came from Poundland as well. Ideally, I'd have used barbecue skewers or flower canes, but they hadn't got any in stock, so I had to use these metal things instead. Um, but that's it, so it's a pack of sticky tape, scrap cardboard, paint tray, rubber bands, golf kit, oh and also the glue sticks I used for gluing it together. For the tools, uh, the challenge was to use a multi-tool. Well, I don't have a multi-tool. Poundland didn't have any. So I've had to improvise. I've used scissors and oh, a pencil and a saw. I did have to use a saw for cutting the metal tube and the saw that I bought in Poundland the little hobby saw or junior hacksaw as it's called was absolutely useless it didn't even touch the surface so I had to use a proper hacksaw to cut it so as far as I'm concerned that's a success if you want to be really picky about the rules then it's not a success because I didn't use exactly the right tools but I didn't have them and I wasn't going to buy them. This has cost £7 to make, which is ridiculously expensive when you could have actually bought a car in Poundland and modified it to be a rubber band powered car and that would have cost a pound all in. But it was a good project, so thanks for that.